Welcome Gemini to your mid-May reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are doing things a bit differently just like last month. Um, I am going to do a quick general read for you guys using this deck and see what divine messages are needing to come through. Right after that we'll go ahead and do the love reading using these cards. If you're not interested in the general read, you could go ahead and check the description box for the timestamp. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading and see what's coming through for you guys. Welcome Gemini to your general read. If you are interested in this deck, it is called the Gentle Heart Tarot deck um, and it comes with a guidebook. It is by Vanessa Zamaya. So let's go ahead and start off with these cards first, which is called the Soul Tree Cards. And these are the Vessel Oracles. And let's see what's coming through. We have Expansion and Be Open. We have Third Eye Chakra and inspiration. Bottom of the deck is acceptance. Let's go ahead and pull more messages. We have move on and childhood. Healing. And then we have fire here, okay? Right under inspiration. Bottom of the deck, we have love. Now just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, let's see what's coming through. We have the chariot, the moon in reverse, the Four of Crystals in reverse, the Knight of Diamonds in reverse, and then we have the Hangman. Okay, Gemini, this is a beautiful reading and a very strong individual who has been through the ups and downs of life through a very long journey here. But I feel you are expanding and trusting yourself more as you're going through this healing process, okay? This is having an awakening here of some sort, operating from the higher level of consciousness to where you're looking at life a lot differently. You could be surrendering a lot of people in your life or surrendering anything that does not serve you here that will hold you back because we have the chariot and this chariot's right next to the moon in reverse. Now when the moon is in reverse, this is more a fear of the unknown. This is a, a fear of taking the next steps in life, okay? But I feel that you're gonna overcome this, just like you have done before. The hangman is a change of perspective, yes. This is a pause in life before taking action. Um, we do have the two of swords and the world. So the world is here and the two of swords is seen clearly now within the situation. Yes, it could be at times it was hard to do the healing, hard to address some issues, but I feel like you are now closing out a chapter, which is huge because that means new beginnings are here. And I feel like you are expanding within your life and you're being open to new opportunities. Four of Wands is all about a milestone to look at how far you've come in life to know how much you accomplished. I feel like a lot of you guys are trusting yourself a lot more, gaining that confidence to move forward. There is a spark uh, here. Um, this is like a, a, a strong fire, okay? I know you're air. Um, you, could have be, you could be dealing with the fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I feel more this is more inspiration. This is like a spark within you that wants to start something or go after what inspires you. Now there could be some delays and blockages with this Knight of Pentacles, maybe some procrastination here, but I feel like you are pushing through that as you're healing, okay? You are the light in your life here. Okay, and we do have power. So you are taking back your power. You had the power all along. Um, you could be forgiving some people here also, maybe in a love situation to where you're leaving things behind. Um, but I feel like you are operating in your life or through your journey with love, okay? This is huge. 
because this is you operating from the purity of your heart, okay? I think you're being very true to yourself because the world doesn't just come in here, okay? The world is going through a lot of obstacles in life. I mean, years of obstacles and challenges and overcoming them and using, you know, your experience now moving forward. I, so I feel like the message here is to trust yourself, continue to live your life out of love and purity from your heart, regardless if others don't show the same. It's just more of you being honest to yourself and others and to know that you are the light in your life and to trust yourself, okay? Trust your, your, your mind on how you think, how you feel, your emotions um, within processes or when you communicate with people. But this inspiration is huge because a new passionate beginning for you that's coming in. So I'm loving this energy a lot. Um, but let's go ahead and get into your love reading and see what's coming through for you guys. Welcome Gemini to your love reading. I hope you guys did enjoy the general read, but let's go ahead and get started and see what's coming through for you guys. If you are new to my channel, how we do things here is we're going to use this deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and then at the end of the reading, we're going to pull these lovers of oracles, followed by these hidden truth messages from your person. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's coming in for you guys. All right, so we do have the hangman and the shadow. Okay, we had the hangman in your last reading and the shadow here. Okay. And the magician. So we have three major arcanas already. And we have the eight of rings and the dawn of swords. Okay. Now, just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Queen of Swords. There you are. The Ace of Wands. The Death card. The Nine of Wands in Reverse. The Ten of Swords. I don't usually have reversals, so that is um, a little odd that that came out like that, but it's meant to be that way. Knight of Wands energy. The World, again. And the Chariot. Wow, a lot of repeating cards here. We do have the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of repeating cards. Okay, and the Queen, the King of Swords. Okay, so I do feel here, now this could have been in the past, present, or something you're coming out of, but either way, there was a person, I feel, that you were dealing with their shadow, okay? I feel like things went stagnant, a possible, pa very passionate, or a lot of chemistry here. We do have the Knight of Swords energy, so someone could be have been very dishonest with you. Um, Eight of Rings is, you know, trying to be positive in the situation, but now I feel like you're seeing very clear because we have you coming up as a queen of swords, which is your energy, male or female. We have the king of swords because you could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be, but that's the energies that are coming up. This is thinking logic about the situation. No longer putting the emotion with here. I feel like you could have dealt with very, somebody that is very inconsistent. Um, Someone who was all talk, no action, who rarely fo followed through what they said, you know, puts you through a lot of ups and downs. This Knight of Wands fire sign, very strong fire. So you guys could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, someone that you couldn't really rely on. You can't really picture yourself long-term with, okay? This is a, a traveler. This Knight is known to be a player of the deck, okay? More of a pursuer. They can play the part of being committed but by their actions, they show you what they really want, okay? And so that is a inconsistency. I feel like you did deal with their shadow side, toxicities within them, things they have not worked out within themselves. Um, I feel like you are only wanting what you deserve, the Ten of Swords and the Death card. Now this is a challenge of ending this, okay? It's hard to overcome this person or the situation, possibly for both of you. 
could either be even be hard for you to open up and trust either this person or other people after what this person has put you through. But we do have the world here and what you don't see coming. So this is more closing out a chapter, closing out a cycle, moving on. After a long pause, after a long time of healing, uh, possible separation, I feel like this person just constantly disappointed you, even though there was passion, but they kept showing up as this Knight of Wands. And we have the Magician. So you could be dealing with someone that is very manipulative, okay? A lot of trickery here, things that are happening behind the scenes. We do have the Four of Cups, so somebody could be very frustrated as things were taking a while. Um, but I feel like these, this ending was more on their part because they were the one that was in consistency and I feel like you are being truthful to yourself and honest within the situation and cutting through the BS. I feel like even if you don't get clarity or closure from this person, that is because they're operating from their shadow side, which they haven't done any work. So I wouldn't expect anything more from them because they're not even, they haven't even worked on anything within themselves, okay? So I feel like more, this is you just seeing for it for what it is and now moving on, okay? Even though how hard it is to move on with this death card at one point, very challenging, possibly painful um, endings, but I feel like you are overcoming this with the chariot again, right? It was in your general with the chariot energy. This is taking your power back. This is gaining the confidence, knowing that there's victory and there's light at the end of the tunnel, okay? We do have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, this is the last, this is like the final push. I feel like this is a, this person already got multiple chances and you're realizing that they're not who they say they are. There's a lot of darkness within them that you're not wanting a relationship with their shadow anymore. So I feel like you are wanting what you deserve. You are making that choice. And now I feel like you're putting things into action and actually moving on from this person here. We do have the page of pentacles so something new could be coming in or you could yeah the four of wands yeah this is like a huge chapter that is closing but it feels like victorious because it's like finally feeling that that sense of freedom okay so i feel like you are going on to bigger and better things you could be starting a new passionate beginning here with someone new so i don't feel like you're wanting to rush into anything uh, in your next relationship. So you could be already speaking to somebody else depending on when this happened um, or what stage you're in within the situation. But um, I feel like you're just gonna enjoy the climb and let things unfold naturally for you here. But let's see what this person has to say to you because we do have, I mean, this night, this shadow, it's just really dark energy. Let's see what this night, yeah, it was my fault I blamed you. Yeah, that's their shadow. Okay, you were dealing with their shadow. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, they blamed you for everything. They probably didn't even give you any closure. That's, I don't know why I keep saying that. That's probably what it is. They didn't give you any closure. That's their shadow. That's the immaturity in them. A lot of things that didn't work out. They're po possibly holding a lot of resentment and darkness in them, okay? I replay our conversations over and over. I know I was a distraction from your pain. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And I'm not available. They're not emotionally available. They can't give you what you deserve because you are coming up as the queen, honest. They're not, you're opposite from this person. Okay, I feel like you're just not wanting to deal with anybody's shadow anymore. You're not asking for someone to be perfect. You're just asking, you know, at, at least somebody needs to be aware of the shadow, right? Like, at least be aware that you have some darkness in you <laughs> and work on it. But I don't feel like they are. They don't even like want to address their issues. So this is the, you know, take what resonates with these cards here. All right, let's see what the messages of love oracles have to say. Ooh, fate. And we have vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. I feel like this is a new passionate beginning you're going towards. And then we have, this is destined partnership. So you could already be with this new person coming in. Yeah, but this other person, someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. That could be that other person, okay? Because they're the ones that are replaying their conversations over and over again in their mind. So I feel like that's more for them. 
but there's something coming in here i feel with um because you're going to be manifesting that anyway somebody more stable i don't feel like you're wanting to deal with these energies anymore they're wanting someone that's more long term who's serious loyal okay and truthful like you let's see what this um lovers of oracles have to say Ooh, yeah a soulmate is coming in see sorry your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically yeah that's what you could be doing with this manifestation card don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself which you are that you can be true to others Let's grab one more. Okay, two more. Oh, we have power and... Okay, so we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That could be somebody's person that they're dealing with right now. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. All right, so I feel like this chapter has closed. You, A lot of you have walked away from the situation as you are noticing who you're dealing with, right? All right, Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for you guys. I do hope that this resonated or helped you in some way. Um, if you do like this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. God bless.